Hello and welcome to another video. I've seen online in on YouTube a couple of other people that have gone camping overnight in their Tesla in the cold. I've done it myself twice before. Uh, it was more in the summer. Uh, one was in early spring. Uh, but I haven't had the car over winter yet until now. So tonight it's supposed to get quite cold and I'm going to take one of my daughters. We're going to go up into a canyon and try camping out overnight in the Tesla. So what I want to do is show you right now uh, what we have to do to get it ready for that. So first, I'm going to have to take out the car seats. We have the three car seats here for our three daughters. And so I'm going to work on taking those out and then uh, we'll be folding down the seats and getting the air mattress blown up and i have a, a pump right here so let's get started since i am going to be taking my daughter on this trip i can't uh, take out her car seat yet because we need it to drive where we're going when we get to where we're going to camp i'll just move that car seat up here into the uh, shotgun position to be out of our way and then what we'll be able to do is just fold down these seats here so I'll fold down um, obviously all the way across and then we have an air mattress that will go right here across the back right now these are the backs of the rear facing seats so that's what you're seeing there all of that is going to be flattened out so I'll uh, give you an update once we get that all set up We're on the road heading to the uh, camping spot and I've got Lucy here with me. Lucy, where are we going? Camping. Yeah? Mm -hmm. In what? Um, in mountains. The, in the mountains, in the Tesla, huh? Are you excited? Kind of. <laughs> kind of? Are you nervous? A little. Yeah. All right, well, sometimes adventures are a little bit scary, but let's go try it out, all right? Awesome, okay. Uh, we're where we're gonna be. As you can see, when I show you what's in front of us, uh, they stopped plowing the road, and there's just a giant pile of snow there. So this is where we're going to just park for the night. Looking down here on the map, we are up Hobble Creek Canyon, right fork here. So this is Mapleton over here. Spring Villa is up over this way. So we went up far, as far into the right fork of Hobble Creek Canyon as uh, is plowed. The uh, couple of miles driving here, the energy consumption was averaging at 463 watt hours per mile, which is not surprising because it's really cold outside. Which speaking of that, we can come over here and the uh, temperature is 27 degrees currently, and we're at 69% battery. So we're gonna get the car set up for camping, and uh, then we will go to sleep. Also, I'm now going to uh, touch this um, ventilation HVAC controls button right there, and we have this new option here called Camp. When I've camped in the past, I used just the on function, which works fine. But what's nice about camp, from what I understand, is that we'll uh, leave the 12 volt uh, outlet on so I can keep charging my phone and things like that. But otherwise, it will just keep the uh, HVAC controls on and we'll leave it at 68 for now and then we'll probably cool it down just a little bit, depending on how it feels. Are you ready, Lucy? Yeah! <laughs> All right, let's get the bed set up. Yeah. So I just reviewed the time lapse and unfortunately it was out of focus, but you still can capture the gist of what it looked like for us. I was trying to assemble everything in the car because it's cold outside and so we were able to blow up the air mattress while it's still in the car. It just uh, was a little tricky, but we managed it all right. And you can see here the result. Well, I don't know if you can't see it very well. It's kind of confined space in here, but the this is a queen sized air mattress and it works great in filling all the cracks and crevices but also uh, where it gets narrow like over here it goes up the wall a bit and then over here on this side 
it kind of goes up the wall a bit as well. Um, it creates a nice comfortable, um, I guess, hammock for lack of a better word, but it's a hammock in the opposite direction than a normal hammock. Um, so I'm going to be putting a pillow between us to try to keep her from just being on top of me all night. Oh, is that another unicorn? No. Well, it's a unicorn inside something. What a unicorn it? in uh, on a trampoline. No. Um, a unicorn in a horse corral. No. I don't know. Just tell me. It's an egg. And a unicorn in an egg. Yeah, it's getting. It's starting. To, oh, I didn't do the cracks. Look, those are the cracks. Oh, so it's about to hatch. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. It's going to be a baby unicorn. Yeah. So. Oh, I should have didn't do a unicorn, a horn, because baby unicorns don't have horns and they're just horn. Oh, really? Yeah, I have a picture of baby unicorns that don't have even have horns. Oh. And it's in my room. I didn't know that. <laughs> that looks great, Lucy. Mhm. Mm nighty nighty. Good night, Lucy. <laughs> <laughs> I just gotta turn off the lights now. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> you crazy kid. Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> so there we have the screen still on. And uh, we have Lucy's water bottle. I don't know if you can really see it. Oh, look. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it shows camping on the screen. We've never seen that before. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. We, I, wonder, I wonder if it did that because we're up in the mountains. It's because I told it to go into camping mode. Oh. Yeah. But how do you do it? It just did it after a few minutes by itself. Uh, how do we get it back to the other screen? Ah! <laughs> just like that. Hey, I'm going to do a thing. Okay. You, um, there's a different place, there's a different way to get to them now. How? Um, so, actually, turn on uh, the fire there. Do you see the fire? Yeah. Is the string going to feel warm? No. <laughs> Is that cool? Yeah. How do you get back? <laughs> All right, now touch it again. Okay, Alright, <laughs> okay. so there's a different way to get to the oh, game. Clown! <laughs> <laughs> that was you. You, you touch too fast. I have to get back. Oh, I have color. Okay. That looks great. Is that you in a tent? No, in our house. And look, it's a clock with the numbers. Oh. One and two. You're right. I see it. What should I draw? How about you draw an airplane? Okay. I'll try my best. Okay. Oh. <laughs> That looks look. pretty good. Okay. But yeah, good job. Should we go to sleep now? Wait. <laughs> what is that? You know, like... No. Should we go to sleep now? Yeah. Okay, come on up here and get in your sleeping bag. Okay. <laughs> you have a little, little animal. <laughs> All right, there's Lucy, ready for bed. All warm and cozy. Where'd she go? <laughs> She's got a little animal. This is what the bed looks like. You can see it goes up on the sides kind of a bit. And it's not too bad. She has her little pillow thing here. Do you want to say goodnight? Goodnight, camera. All right. 
<laughs> it's like a turtle. Yeah. It was a cold, wild winter. You were sleeping on my shoulder. I was praying that the raging storm would stay a little longer with your feet up on the dashboard of my summer dream in Westwood. I was hoping that we'd wake up to the sun. So it is 6:50 in the morning, and Lucy woke up and wants to just go play with games on the Tesla screen. Hey, Lucy. How did you sleep? Good. Still a little dark outside, but it's starting to lighten up. Was this fun sleeping in the car? Yeah. The camping mode still on the middle screen, so that stays on all night, apparently, with the camping mode. Looking at the stats, you can see the battery is down to 50 percent and the temperature is at 12 degrees Fahrenheit. Last night was I think 67 percent. I'll have to look at the video. It looks like we lost about 17 and uh, if we look around the windows are not fogged up at all. We had the temperature in the cabin set to 67 degrees all night. And so, it does a pretty good job. Dad, what one are you trying to protect? You're trying to protect the, the one at the bottom that is white, that has the, um, the X on top of it. Or it's, more, it's a cross, actually, not an X. But yeah, that one. That's the one you're trying to make sure that they don't kill. Why? Because that's just how the game works. Oh, oh that one killed it! <sighs> So looking outside, you can see it's getting lighter now. Oh. Oh, that one killed it! Yeah. There's the pile of snow behind the car where they stopped oh. plowing the road. There's the moon. Oh, that one killed it! Lucy decided that she wanted to move both of them, so we put it in two-player mode. And now she's just making patterns with the pawns. <laughs> Three more to go! You can do it. One more! Oh, that was so close. Oh! <laughs> ah, look! Oh, we have a lot more of them. Yeah. We obviously don't know how to play any backgammon at all. Yeah. <laughs> Let's try a different game. Huh. I'm trying it. Oh, we do know this game! Lunar Lander, yeah. So you have to push the start button. Oh. Okay. No! No! Do you remember how to use the rocket? You have to push the button up here on the steering wheel. You have to turn it so that the rocket can be pointing down. No! Push the rocket more. Oh, <laughs> you're so close. Oh, it's gonna crash into the mountain. Oh! <laughs> oh, that was so close. Still is. Phew. Ah! Oh! I didn't know that was going. I didn't know that was there. Yeah. All right. That's let's a hard try one. Again. Look, Dad, I think I'm going to land softly. Oh, good. Keep going down. But remember, you have to also land on something that is flat. Like that? Yes, right at the bottom or right where there's that five X is, is um, blinking. But that's a really hard spot. So I, uh, I wouldn't recommend. Oh, no. Uh. Oh. <laughs> our view. All right, it is 7:43 a.m. and the regen braking is very restricted because it's very cold. So the lesson is that we had 
th these yellow um, dashed lines over here is what I'm pointing at. So that's the maximum acceleration we can do. And then over here, the regen braking is pretty much completely eliminated. When we arrived, <clears throat> there was no restriction at all. So the battery has definitely cooled overnight and having the HVAC system on was not enough uh, energy draw to keep it warm. Uh, we are now down to 49% battery. When we woke up, it was at 50, um, but we turned up the heater to warm it up in here a bit, um, and it took another percent. And we're at 13 degrees Fahrenheit, and it was 12 when we woke up. And so Lucy is in her car seat now. We have all of our camping stuff still over there. I'll, I'll get that put away when we get home. <laughs> down to 37% battery, 27 degrees, and we're getting close to home. I do not want to go up there because it looks too cold. You're talking about this snowy mountain up here? Yeah! Yeah, it does look really cold. We're running uh, 286 watt hours per mile right now over the last five miles which is of course really good, so I guess the car cabin temperature's up or something. Um, it doesn't have to heat up anything. We're uh, 72 degrees on the cabin temperature, and uh, the regen braking is still limited, but not as limited as it was before. If we look over here at the 30 miles um, average, then we're at 381 watt hours per mile, which is more what I would expect for wintertime driving like we're doing right now at 28 degrees. All right, we're back home. We are charging up. We are at 10 kilowatts right now. It's estimating five hours to charge up to 90% and we are currently at 33% battery. So this whole journey yesterday, we uh, left here at about 93% battery. We did a couple of little minor things along the way. We stopped at a relative's house and whatnot, but didn't use a lot of extra energy. It was just more time that passed. And um, and then we went and camped out. 16% battery was used to have the HVAC system on overnight at 67 degrees overnight. And it was a little on the cold side later in the morning, but we had plenty of blankets and um, sleeping bags. And so I didn't want to bother to crawl up here to the front to adjust the temperature. Um, I think probably 68 is probably pretty ideal. There's a lot of cold air coming off the, the roof and the, the, the windows, of course. It's not the most insulated thing ever. Uh, so we had plenty of excess energy. We could have easily kept the cabin temperature warmer if we had wanted to. Now let's look at the Teslify data. Now the tricky thing here is that both of the days on either side of the camp out is what we have to include, obviously, because it spanned to midnight. That being said, we did many other things in the Tesla throughout both days. So I can't really boil these numbers down to strictly just the camping part. The camping mode and frankly i don't even know which one of these numbers represents the camp out that being said let's look through these stats briefly um, the the total uh, loss here from just the the car in standby shows as uh, 5.76 kilowatt hours across both days um, down here this 
showing that it was parked uh, is 4.43 kilowatt hours. And then this one here with the, the snowflake, uh, I believe just represents the HVAC system in general. So that's maybe more likely that this would be the camping mode. And that's 12.59 kilowatt hours. Um, and then the total of uh, being parked and the HVAC system would be 17.02 kilowatt hours. And then lastly, we have phantom battery drain, which is just a new thing that Testify added recently. So I'm not 100% sure what's different between all of these numbers, but that one's showing 10.0 one nine kilowatt hours. So I think that's tons of fun and I hope you enjoyed it and gained some insights into another thing that's possible to do in your Tesla and I'll see you in the next video.